Let's play Bloku Doku, a block puzzle game made by Easy Brain. Let's start right away. I've just opened it. Okay, so we have different modes. Let's start with the classic mode. Alright, so there's a tutorial. So the game is telling you to swipe up and to move this to hold on the, uh, the square of 3x3 three three blocks to yep onto the grid okay so you move a uh, five blocks i a uh, three blocks uh, looking like a c and this one okay so the purpose here is to f yes to clear lines um, by fi filling uh, the, the, the board with various shapes, okay. So you cannot turn the uh, different shapes. It's not like in Tetris. You cannot rotate them. Okay. Well. Yes, let's put this. Okay, this is a, a very small, a tiny O here. The O is, um, as you remember, uh, a block of 2x2. Two two. A shape of 2x2 two two blocks in uh, Tetris. 2x2 two two equips. Okay. So in Tetris, they call those uh, shapes the Tetrominos or Tetrats. Here is just uh, well shapes. I, I don't know if they they have a, a name a official name for that. Oh well, here it is the O. Okay, so I've just started playing that, so it may be not very good, right? Okay. Well. Yeah, so you cannot rotate, so it's a bit uh, awkward. Okay. Well. Oh well. Um. Okay. For instance, if you could rotate this, it will fit perfectly to the uh, bottom left corner. Hold on. So, okay. Well, the small O is very useful. Okay, let's put it in. Okay. Yep, let's fit that in. Cool. Give me a small O. no more possibilities to put anything in okay cool yep yeah that's fine okay let's keep on trying Okay, yeah. So there's no time limit, no timer. The time will not run out, so you have, don't have to rush. Uh, I try to um, to play fast because, um, well, I, I don't want this video to be too slow, you know. So uh, just speeding up, but you don't have to do that if you are playing at home. Don't have to rush. Okay. All right. So. No. Well, 
I guess that when there's no more possibility of placing any shape, then the game will be go all over. Game over. The game will be over or not? Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, give me a small O, please. Possibility to place shapes. Okay, this is. Oh wow! <laughs> Save me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep, our moves. That's it. Well, you can spend coins, 200 coins, to keep playing, but I don't have enough. Uh, you can watch an ad to uh, have a free rescue to, to revive and then to keep playing it but I have switched my internet off so well no I haven't even touched on on rating and it has happened by stuff okay let's go back home let's play another mode this is a time mode now so in this mode there is a timer so you have to watch it out break lines to increase the time bar okay so Every time you break the lines, it increases the time. Or it's like you increase your health points. Okay, so here we go. In this one, you have to speed up. So I'm going to to try and speed up even more. So as you can see, Bloku Luku is a um, combination of Sudoku and block puzzle games. That's funny to see. You have to match blocks to complete lines and squares to get them removed. So try and keep your block clean and beat your high score. Otherwise, if you fill it up, it's game over. Okay. Or when you run out of shapes, that means that's the same thing actually. That means that you have uh, fill up the board. When you run up, fill up the board, you can't place any shape. Okay, so well, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm not playing uh, that uh, seriously because uh, the purpose is to, as I told you to make it it's not to, to make you wait okay it's out of mode now so this is the game uh, it's the same thing to keep playing to you uh, watch an ad or you spend coins okay I am not going to but come on why do they keep showing you that okay so you, we have seen the classic mode and the time mode let's see uh, the blast mode now so in that mode bomb will blast when counter is over you break the bomb before it's over well, let's try uh, okay so there's no bomb yet okay oops I made a mistake I didn't want to place it there wow Seriously? Okay. Yeah. So you you start. Uh, you don't start with uh, bombs right away in this mode. Okay. Not good. Not good. Oh come on. Please. 
trees. Let me destroy that. Oops. It's not going to... Oh, wow. So, okay. A bomb has exploded. I didn't succeed in this, in breaking the, the lines uh, before the timer runs out. So much the bomb. Come on. They keep asking us to uh, to rate uh, every time we, we die. Okay, so we have the advanced mode after the blast mode. In this one, you play with these additional blocks. Well, you have uh, other shapes in. Uh, you have a uh, six blocks, the blue six blocks shape, uh, rectangle shape. Uh, as you can see in the left, you have um, a U, a green U, of uh, five blocks. You have a cross, a pink cross of uh, five blocks as well. Uh, the the uh, classic T in Tetris, four blocks, and the uh, the S. Okay, so, well, some of them are not classic uh, Tetris blocks. Okay, but this one is not supposed to be a Tetris uh, clone, so, that's not more. No. Yep, you have the S and the Z. Okay, I'm not placing that very correctly, I must confess. Well, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, so it was the advanced mode, and you have at last the challenge mode. Okay. So this game is using, as you can see, uh, some blocks created when the famous game Tetris was released. The O, the T, the I, even if uh, even if in Bloku Doku the I has three curves, but in some mode it has uh, four or five. What? So where, where is there uh, a bomb here as well? Well, I didn't know there was bomb in here as well. Cool, just in time. Oh, come on. I have a bomb which is going to explode. Well, yep. Okay. What is... So, well, the challenge, what is that then? It's, this is like the blast mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that again, the challenge mode. Hold on. Yep. It's so remember that you are not trying to um, to destroy a whole line of um, you know a whole horizontal line or vertical line of one to of nine uh, blocks. You can only focus on destroying uh, blocks of uh, three by three. But you. Well, it means that you can also destroy the whole horizontal or vertical line, of course, of nine blocks if you want to, or if you have the opportunity to, but it's not the main purpose, okay? So, in Tetris, the different blocks shapes are called Tetrominos, and I don't know what they call that in that game. Okay, so let's, we have seen the setting. 
okay this is one is to connect with your Google Play account you have a shop you can buy coins okay you can remove the ad okay you purchase that and you have okay the different uh, background for the color and the colors for the background okay so let's try again with the classic mode in this one you have no timer there's no rush and that's better that's cool for me and you start with a 9x9 nine nine board you move blocks on a 9x9 nine nine grid and see I have fill a 3x3 three three blocks only uh, agreed only and it counts so that's cool and obviously if you feel the whole vertical line of 9x9 nine nine, it counts as well obviously they're not going to deny us this possibility okay so this is cool I'm going to take a bit more time here Okay, it's a bit too bad you cannot um, rotate. But it's even more fun actually. Uh, okay, here we go. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so this 9x9 grid is of course very familiar to all Sudoku fans. Oops, there's no undo. You cannot undo. Uh, I placed it at, uh, in a spot I, I didn't want to, but anyway, uh, let's move on. Okay, so the, this grid allows us to uh, build lines and squares. You have lots of various shapes. I'm talking why I'm trying to burn, and it's not very easy. Yeah, so you have to strategically stack the different blocks consisting of cubes, as you can see on the board, to destroy them and keep the board clean. So when the board is filled up, and that means that you are. You have no more possibility to place the different shapes and it's game over. So of course you you have to think a bit ahead if you want to 
to play long enough in this game and to beat your high score. I repeat in this in this game play session I'm not going to to play very carefully because well I want to speed it up a bit. Um, otherwise it's not funny to to see a, a very slow play. Slow pace. Uh, okay, let's go. Give me something like that, yeah. Okay. Whoops. There is no. Give me one small and tiny cube, please. Please. Okay. Um, not good, not good. I'm going to run out of moves. Oh, cool. It saved me. This one saved me. Okay, yeah. This one too. Okay. So the music at the background is cool. Um, it's very calming, very soothing. If you don't put it too loud, it is quite relaxing. And oh no, yes. Okay, I need one tiny block. One tiny, yeah, cubes. Uh, okay, let's put that here. Oh, cool. Yep. Well, where can I put that? Well, let's put. This here. Okay. So, um, they say that you can make combos in this game. You can master the game by destroying several elements with just, with just one move, but I haven't done that yet. Can, for instance, destroy two lines, one vertical and one horizontal line. You know, with uh, w just one tiny cube. And if you do that, I think that uh, you can have a hefty amount of bonus points. Uh, I think it's quite complicated in this game because the this tiny one cube shape is not something uh, that is given very often okay let's go yep okay well 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 we're increasing our score a bit want to uh, reserve the uh, the upper right corner for a uh, three by three block is that why that's why I want to uh, to avoid that zone but now looks like I don't have any choice and we'll have to play it yep yeah we don't have any choice now Cool. Yeah, it allows us to riff a bit. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we can. What 
can we do? Well, let's play it there. Oops, I should have placed that somewhere else. Anyway, uh, come on. Yeah, let's destroy this. So that, that was a combo. I just destroyed one 3x3 three three grid and another 9 blocks aligned. So, yep. Yeah. I didn't notice the uh, the score change, but it shouldn't have changed uh, uh, a lot. It have it shouldn't have gone up a lot. Uh, I didn't calculate. Whoops! We are going to yeah, we are going to be short. Have space. Um, Okay. Oh no no no! It's not going to be good. Give me a small. Oh come on! Yes. Give me a s two by two square, please. Okay, so s yeah, let's destroy. I think this. No. Let's take that place uh, for this. Oh, no. What? Oh yeah, didn't see that. Uh, okay. Can we free some more space now? Unfortunately, no. Okay, so we have to do this. Oh, cool. Hold on. Yep, we can do that better. Yep, that was a combo. And so we have this right a horizontal line and a vertical line at the same time. Uh, whoops, we have no place to put the. Ah, yeah. We do. Okay. you can imagine the tiny one cube shape is the most important in this game <laughs> you can fill up everywhere you can fill up every hole in this game and that's very precious when the board is challenging this is especially useful so when you see that block the shape make sure that you uh, I'm making the most out of it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, we're breathing a bit easier now. Hold on. Now let's just try this first and see if we have better blocks, better shapes. Uh, no, we don't have much better. Ah, uh, come on. No. Okay. Oh, right. Yep, it's tiny. Shape I was talking about. That was it. Okay, so let's use it here. Yeah. For instance. Okay. Let's just try this. Let's place this thing here. Okay. 
Yep, that was a combo, another combo. Okay, let's place it here. Cool. One another combo. Of course you can make street as well. You score more points if you destroy elements with uh, a few moves in a row. So it's a it's a very addictive uh, ge game actually. I didn't expect uh, myself to be so hooked into this this game. This has a unique mechanic and. A different unique mechanics actually. It's an incredible mixture of Sudoku and block puzzles, and it's quite smart from the creators of this game. Yeah. I don't know if it was uh, done before or if they invented it, but it's, it's quite smart. Hold on. Uh, before placing a shape on the grid, you have to think a bit if uh, there's a better choice. Okay, so here, uh, yep, it's too bad we cannot rotate before placing, really. I know I have the, I have said that before, but it's really a pity. Okay. Oh yeah, we have one tiny cube. Okay, let's try and make the most of it. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Obviously, if you can put blocks uh, one next to another and without creating holes, a lot of holes, that's better. That's definitely better. Because when you create uh, s spaces between shapes, well, that's, this will be more and more difficult for you. To uh, to fit the uh, the incoming shapes in in the grid. Uh, no. Okay, so we need a tiny cube here. Please give me some. Okay, here. Well, anyway. seen the uh, two by two square uh, from a while um, why don't they give us that I need that well I mean they're generating the shapes uh, randomly but sometimes you know there are shapes that you appreciate more than others of course uh, yeah the combo here and where, where can we okay here yeah it's nice okay okay where can I put 
that. We don't have any choice, actually. Okay, here we go. Put that here, it will require me to use um, one tiny cube to remove it. Uh, the, the, the grid, and so I don't want to do that. Let's put that here. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Let's remove this. destroy this grid they don't give a cross in this mode right yeah it wouldn't have been perfect to fit the cross in there and this is destroyed but anyway uh how not yes Gameplay is really addictive. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that much more than I type I will. Come on. Uh, yeah. Skip that here. No. Wow, no, come on. I made a mistake. I didn't want to put that here. Oh, anyway. That has been so rough. The problem has been solved. So watch carefully before you place a shape because there may there may be a better spot for this uh, to be put on. Mm, not easy easy this one. Okay, I'm going to place like that. Don't have a lot of choice sometimes. Okay. Oh gosh I'm going to be yep I'm going to run out of shape yep unfortunately I'm going to run out of shape wow it saved me this one saved me okay oh my gosh I'm so lucky to have uh, to Required shapes to save me. Otherwise, uh, I was going to be totally stuck. 
well. Sometimes you just need luck. You cannot always rely on your logic. Uh, you know. Okay. This game is obviously not based on luck, but uh, it helps. It helps to uh, to have the uh, required shape, I would say, at that specific time, a specific moment, uh, to um, to clear the grid. Especially when you are playing, you know, in a way that, uh, for here, for instance. I mean here I am playing a bit too fast. I wouldn't play that fast if I <laughs> I'm not gonna recording a video, obviously. Okay, let's let's try this one. to square now please okay yeah that was I was talking about that and that yeah that's nice giving me this one okay that's cool I have clear so out yes okay combo one vertical and one horizontal line clear at the same time. This is a combination. Okay, so. This one, and I made a mistake and forgot that. I uh, come on, anyway. That's what it is to play too fast. That's not good. Yeah, okay. Fortunately, there's no. Big consequence. Okay. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try and oh no. Yeah, yeah. So this game is perfect uh, when you're bored and you want to train your brain at any time. That's, you can play that. Okay, hold on. No, not a good idea. Position. 
uh, I like this classic mod a lot because there's no time limit, so you don't have to rush. Um, you just have to think one step ahead if you have to face a difficult move. Yep, when you uh, when you play too fast, and that you don't think ahead, it may be your last move each time that you play carelessly. Oh come on! Okay, here we go. Well. your high score by uh, balancing between destroying figures as quickly as possible and and to get uh, as or get as many combos and streets as you can it depends on the mode actually of course in this one you better try and get a lot of combos so it's easier to say than to do Knowing what to do is one thing, and to do that is a, another problem. It's completely different problem. Okay. Yeah. So why should you play this game? Well, I would say that uh, the Blue Kudoku Slide Puzzle is made for people who want to relax. So if you want to relax, to train your brain, it is perfect. To train your brain at the same time that you relax is even better, right? And this one is cool because um, you are not you're going to get mad, but you know, at to the point that you want to throw your phone off. Well, unless. Unless you are going to beat your own high score and then just one shape is missing, otherwise uh, it's very calm and soothing, very satisfying at the same time, you know, to destroy the uh, different grids, to clear the grids. There are endless possibilities. The number of different parties, uh, unique parties, a uh, different place for this game is just huge. Oh yeah, there was a combo. I have cleared two, three by three grids at the same time. That's perfect. And here we go. That is the streak. I have made a combo, and then just after I clear a horizontal line, uh, two in a row. That's a streak. Okay. Well, let's try again. Well, let's take. Let's use that later. Yep. I try and uh, use my. Tiny one cube shape later, as late as possible, because it's, it's so precious, you know. Okay, 
Okay, give me a big L now. I call it a big L, I don't know if it has a, another name, but okay. This that was the one I was talking about. Okay, so not good, not good. This is not good. Okay, it's better. So try. No, that's my touch anyway. I try to put the different shapes in the corner when possible. Of course, you have to try and avoid uh, letting holes between shapes. Um, I mean, one tiny hole, one cube hole. Okay, so. Well, yeah, that's it. Okay, okay. Here we go. Good, not good. I'm going to need, uh, yep, I'm going to need a miracle now or one cube. Oops, yep, out of move. 188,000 is my best score so far. Come on, I don't want to rate every time. Okay, so I'm quite happy. 188,100 is not too bad. Okay, so let's try. No. So, I'm going to uh, try and beat my own high score in the time mode, the blast mode, advanced mode, and challenge mode later. Well, uh, this is the end of this gameplay. Um, I would like to say that uh, this is a very addictive game. The fact that it's in, that includes combinations of various scales and you know it makes the complexity with simple additive gameplay is just perfect, awesome. And whether you are tired or uh, in low spirits, uh, well, a few rounds of playing Bloku Doku sliding puzzle, I think, will cheer you up and let your mind relax. So, if you like block and then block games or block hexa puzzles, then Bloku Doku is the perfect option for you, I think. If you want to take a break from the daily green and uh, bad fast by, well, you can immerse yourself in this brain teaser. What? You definitely, I think you definitely won't be bored. Okay, I'll finish this gameplay by some simple game. 
Yes. So you relieve your stress or train your brain with a relaxing and challenging game of Blue Goody Goo anywhere. And this is what I recommend. Anytime. Well, you, I hope that you enjoy watching this video of me playing Blue Goody Goo. And that gives you the desire to install and play this game because I recommend it. It's very, very satisfying to clear these boards, you know. Don't forget to subscribe to um, the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos. I'm playing randomly, I must confess. Yeah. Yes, I'm just talking at the end. Feel free to like our other videos as well. And don't forget to comment under them. See you soon on Gameplay 665. Bye bye.